Last week, we were out in Lebanon putting up the couple panels that we made. We still have 11 to make, so we're back here at the shop and we're getting ready to bust a move on those. So while Matt was building the kennel panels, naturally a client showed up needing to load out some gates. Being the customer focused individual that Matt is, he saw what he was doing to help load the gates up. Three inch by nine. I just wanted to make sure I helped get him going. Yeah, he just needs four more CS20 three inch posts. Four more three incher CS20 eight footers. Nine. Nine footers. Okay. So we're making these panels to fit in between two concrete walls. So we're putting these plates on here. We're going to weld them just to the outside of the frame so that they fit in there and we can still secure them. Three down, ten to go. Yeah, yeah. Down, 10 to go, let's baby. Do, One of the things I love doing outside of Ozark Fence and this YouTube channel is helping others with their social media marketing. So I was incredibly excited to be asked to sit on a panel and speak to the Greater Springfield Board of Realtors about social media marketing and how these agents and brokers could improve their business by utilizing social media. Should start looking at TikTok. You absolutely should because their algorithm is incredibly good at figuring out what you want to watch before you want to watch it, right? Like I don't know how this magic works, but it's thinking like two videos ahead of wherever I swipe up to, and I watch. Now sometimes it misses. It'll swing and miss a few times, but it takes note of that, right? So if I swipe before I watch more than 10% of the video, it knows. The algorithm is fantastic. I'll, I'll touch on this too. So should you limit your social media exposure? 
I view it as filling up cups, right? So treat each platform like a cup. Don't start filling up the next cup till your first one's full. Because a lot of times each platform, the content's a little bit different. Sometimes it's the same. We talked during the lunch break that you can repurpose content across, but get really good at one and then move on to the next rather than try to take on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, da 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 da. Because what you'll find, you, one, you'll just completely burn yourself out trying to figure all those out at the same time. But two, your message is going to feel really bland because you're trying to make the same message applied to all these different platforms when the audience on TikTok consumes in, you know, content a lot differently than the audience on Facebook. Uh, just take it, take it one both ways. Thanks again to the Greater Springfield Board of Realtors for having me out to speak. I had an incredible time and would love to come back anytime you need. So that's it for the day. That's a wrap, baby. We're out of here. Sayonara. See you later. Au revoir. Signing off. See you tomorrow. Good day. All right, then. Bye-bye now. Now, day-to-day, -day, the shipping room operations look pretty much the same. We package, box, label, and repeat. But today was a little bit different. We had our good friends over at Complete Electric out to give us a few more dedicated uh, power outlets because Eric kept tripping breakers. Now, he swears up and down he wasn't cooking pizzas in the oven, but there's some rumors running around that that might not be the case. Circuit breaker. Did that happen very often? I mean, I know it happened a few times. Uh, I, well, it happened like three times in one day, and then we switched that to the extension. And that helped. Uh, burger time, baby. Get the review. Get the review. Got? That's how we get clicks. Dairy Queen. You like Dairy Queen? I sure do. Dairy Queen is right up the road. They are. Oh, it is right up the road. Yeah, yeah they're pretty pretty quick, punctual. They do they do it upright. Anyway, yeah. Uh, when it was warm. It was good. It was good. Now that it's cold, it's still good, but you know, whatever. Yeah. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. It's like been super quiet here pretty much all day, which is good because we got a lot of panels done, but you know, then when you try to take a break or leave for two seconds, somebody comes. Yeah. Kind of how it rolls, man. Yeah, how it rolls, dude. Yeah. One of the problems we're having lately is our yard gets smaller and smaller. It's actually not shrinking. I just keep buying more and more stuff. Every time I say I'm done, I find it a good deal on something else and another truckload shows up. I've laid the task on Matt and John's desk to organize the lot and make sure it's incredibly efficient for both our contractors and our clients to come and go. As part of that, we got the pipe racks that you guys saw last week. Now, part of having the pipe racks is figuring out exactly how to arrange them for maximum efficiency, which is what you're getting ready to see. So we're gonna use two, two per rack essentially. So this will be like one rack. That way it doesn't bow in the middle. So because there's structure.
And just like that, pipe racks were rearranged. Now, when we quit filming, we thought we were done. But afterwards, there's a little bit of discussion. We're actually going to bring in another pair of arms. We think we can get another bundle up in the air, another bundle width up in the air, which would really help things. Stay tuned in subsequent weeks and future weeks to see that happen. Guys, I hope you're loving this content. I hope you're liking the format. We are loving making it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I always love interacting with you guys there. Now, sometimes it's not as quick as some people would like, but please understand, I make it a priority. Until next week, I'm Joe Everest, the fence expert, reminding you that good fences make good neighbors.